I got a box from the bathing garden and it's pretty and it's for Jilly. Ha, remember that from the movie? Let's open this box right up. Okay, we're inside. Let's see. I just look. Oh my, oh, there we go. Ooh, I smell candy or something. It smells it has a candy scent. Oh, it's pretty. Look at the looks like French toile. Oh, Ooh, look at all that stuff wrapped up in there. This is going to be fun. Hey everyone, it's Vicki and welcome to my channel. And today I have a huge order from the bathing gardens. Now I'm going to scoot up close and it's kind of cutting off the top of my head. But I want you to have a better view of the product than me. Because I'm not made up or nothing. I don't even have my hair done any makeup on. Uh, I took a day off from work to finish my taxes, got those done. Now I feel like I should send this back and get my money back because I might need it to pay my taxes. <laughs> now nah, all is good. So anyway, huge order. reason it's so big is because uh, a year or two ago I wanted to do an order with the bathing garden when they had one of their openings and uh, I waited until I got off work, ate dinner, did all that. Then that night I went on and so much was sold out that this time uh, something was up, I can't remember, but anyway, I took a half a day off work, and that way I was able to go in, into the, uh, when that she had her opening, immediately order, put a whole bunch of stuff in my cart, and check out, and it was pretty much all available, so I kind of overshopped, but that's okay, and then went and did what I had to do that afternoon, I had some business to take care of, so, but you don't care about that, you care about this, and let's start it off with the Easter-y looking thing, since that's so timely, look at that beautiful Easter egg. Can you see the rabbits and stuff in it? I don't know if you can. It smells so good. It is called Pineapple Pixie or Dixie. It's you. It's part of this, um, uh, most of what I ordered is in this Alice in Wonderland theme. So the writing on it, sometimes I'm having a little trouble reading it. Hmm. It smells like pineapple, but something else, like cherry or something. I don't know. What is that going on outside? <laughs> I could, something's got my attention in the neighbor's uh, garage doors. It has um, a shiny. I can see something. And let's see. This next one reminds me of one of those black and white cookies, only it's purple and teal. Beautiful colors. And it's called Who Stole the Tarts? It's just a little wax tart here. Oops. I ripped it. Mmm. Mmm. Smells like bubble gum and maybe cinnamon. Yes. Ooh, I really, really like that. Mmm. I have my burner, my tart warmer, melter, whatever back there somewhere going so I can take that wax out and put something from this haul in there. Right now, this is the contender, but I'm only two in, so. Uh, oh, yeah, so I was doing the Easter stuff. I have two Easter bunnies in the non colored wax, which I don't mind at all. I don't have to have colored wax. Aren't they cute? They both say, world through the keyhole. So let's see what they smell like. I ordered two of some things because I thought I could give it as gifts. Mm, they smell um, a little bit more like perfume or something like that, or floral. And they're nice, they're light though. And then this very unusual one, it is called White Rabbit's Carrot Cake. But I'm going to take it out of the bag because it's just the most unusual wax dart I've ever had. It looks like a cake with a mushroom on the top and a little I love you. Or, no, not I love you, just love. Isn't that cute? Definitely smells spicy and, uh, yeah, carrot cakey. Nice. Like that, too. And let me, no, I'll save those to last. Then I have a bag of these little cake things. Now, I'm not, I'm going to have to open this to, I'm not sure if these are all the same and just different colors or they're different ones. So I'm going to have to open them to see. The first one says fairy cake. And it's sort of a light pink. So let's see what it is. Ooh, I don't know what it is, but I don't care for the scent at all. What is that? 
I don't know what it is. <laughs> it's pink, but it has some little color there, see? Well, it's a little better now that it's been out of the package a minute. What is that scent? I don't know. I don't know. And, oh no, they're all different. This one is When Wonderland Dreams. And it is a blue, light blue. I'm taking them out of the bag because some things don't smell right in the bag. This doesn't have a lot of scent. It's a really, really light floral. It's very nice. It's a very delicate scent. I like that. Uh, next is called Frolic. I like to show you the name because, I, like I say, some of these are a little bit harder to read. I might be saying them wrong or reading them wrong. Um, wow. What is that? Kind of citrus and musky at the same time. Um, this one is called... I don't know what it's called. Maybe it's called Jello Fluff Cake. You can read it yourself and tell me if that's what it says. And it is a little bit brighter pink than that one. More of a true pink. The other was very, very pastel. This smells, uh, hmm. Actually, at first I was fruity, but it's, it just, it smells good. It smells, um, edible is what it smells. Yeah, it smells like something you would eat. It's not really, maybe it's strawberry. I, I don't think so, but it could be. Pan's Pipes? Is that what that says? Maybe I'll have to pull these up on the internet when I do the editing and put some descriptions in. That smells like lemongrass or something, I think. Hmm. Fresh and clean, that's what I should say. Uh, circus Bread? Okay, and this is another of the little butt cakes and it's a uh, very, very, well, no, it's white. It's certainly a very, very pale pink, but I think it's white with the red on top. And the red makes, wow, the red makes it look um, kind of pinkish, see? But really, it's white. Um, first thing I said was popcorn. And then I got some fruitiness. I'm going to be very curious to see what, <laughs> what the scent description is on that. Man, this bag is just full of these. This is going to take me forever. I better, I better speed her up here. Oh, sorry. This one is called Watcher Mint. Mmm, that's very nice. Very clean, um, but not soapy or anything like that. That's hard to describe what that one's like. This one is called Moon of Wonder. Is that right? Another white one. Okay, I'm not getting a lot out of that one, so. I'm not getting a lot. I'm getting something, but it's very, very um, delicate. And I do have a wax warmer that's small, so it's, oh, isn't he cute? This is called the Salt Bunny. I didn't see him down in there. He really is a bunny. He's, so, he's almost, well, he's almost like a mouse. Mmm. He smells very clean with maybe just a hint of lemon. Mmm, he's nice. Okay, so he was what was at the bottom. He's heavy. <laughs> he's a big hunk of solid wax. I can't believe those ears stayed on and all the packaging and shipping like that. So delicate. Ooh! Now I'm going to be the one to break him after. Made all this travels from, I don't know where the bathing garden is from. Am I on the side of the address? From ID. That's Idaho, right? Yeah, Idaho. And I'm in Florida, so... He made it quite a few miles, only to probably be broken by me immediately. <laughs> so I'm just going to set these aside. I won't slow the process down anymore. Uh, Caterpillar Mischief. Bright pink. Well, not bright pink, but pink pink. Hmm. Okay, it's not real strong. Looks very pretty. Look at that. Um, I'm going to say fruit. and Not really bubblegum, but fruity. Uh, whimsy. Mmm, I smell banana in that. I don't know what all's in it, but I smell banana. This is called Maddest Almond Cake. <coughs> Excuse me. Yeah, I can smell the almond, but I also smell 
I don't know, something else. Pretty. And then what else? Uh, not really coconut, maybe a little coconut. You know, a little bit of a suntan lotion. Good night, Alice. I bet this is lavender. Mm hmm. It's very pretty. I'm back. Heard a little noise going on out there, so I thought I better shut the door. Uh, exactly two days slow. That's what I'm reading. Mm, that's nice. It's, um, this may have like fizzy or soda pop or something. Uh, because it's fruity, but it's something else too. But isn't that the cutest money? What is that? It's not wax. Mm -mm, it's very cute though. Next is World Through the Keyhole, which I think I had in one of the bunny shapes. Mm -hmm. It's a little perfumey, musky kind of scent. Uh, the next two are the same. Keep, keep Your Temper. It kind of looks like Keep Poor Temper, but I think it's Keep Your Temper. It's kind of a light yellow in the back and it lightens up on the top. It's got pearly things. <laughs> I have to say, all these hearts are just beautiful. Mm, yeah, lemony. I like that. I'm setting one aside because I'm going to, I think, put that in today. I like this one a lot. I wanted to put it in, but I think I'm going to save it because I only have one of those and I have two of these. Um, chasing Time. Mm, minty. Spearminty. It's got something down there. What is that? Oh, it's like a sundial-ish kind of thing. I don't know if the camera can pick that up exactly. But it's minty. That's nice. It's minty fresh. <laughs> I think that's the character in a book. Uh, lavender vanilla custard. Mm-hmm. That smells like lavender and something else. But I have two of these. I tend to buy heavy on lavender. Because I like it and I think it smells clean. This one is called Alice in Lavender Land. It smells clean without being soapy. Oh yeah, that's just a nice... It's got something else. Maybe a mint? I don't know. It's got whatever was in that mint one in it too, I think. But Oh! Hit the camera, sorry. It's got little pearls in it. Very nice. And let's see what this one's called. Beware the Queen's Jabberwocky. Beware the Queen's Jabberwocky. Well, I'm no expert on Alice in Wonderland. And it's got the hearts. Not as fond of this one. Yeah, not as fond of this one. Um, I think I'm not a big perfume-y person. Uh, this one's cute. It's called Manage Your Flamingo. And it's a much brighter pink than the other one. Oh, this smells good. Most fruity, and look, it's got a glittery flamingo. Can you see him? With pearls and and uh, glitter and everything. These are fancy candles. Uh, this one's called Whimsy. I think, didn't we start with something called Whimsy? Maybe one of the smaller ones. Yeah, I recognize it. Oh, it's like banana and coconut, I would say. And look, it's got a, a little um, mushroom. See what he's. No, he's not wax. I don't think he's wax. Uh, here's one called Nothing Whatever. Mm, this one's got a hint of maybe spearmint, and I don't know what else. I don't know, it's different. It's got some kind of something on it there. <laughs> this is one that I actually dropped and opened, and so it's got a dog hair. <laughs> stuck to it when I was putting them back in the box. They all came in tissue paper and I actually recorded opening that and then I realized that's just going to be so annoying the sound of all that tissue paper that I'm redoing that. So, But I hadn't opened them to sniff them yet. I was just taking them out of the um, tissue. Good night Alice again. I think we already did this one. Yes we did with the big moon face on it. Uh, pistachio almond pudding. I think we did this one. It smells too strong for me in the thing, but I bet when I get it out and put it in the warmer, it won't be. Because I think I've had it before, 
Alice in Lavender Land. Yes, we, I think we had this one already too. I think that's a dupe. And not a dupe, but a duplicate of another one. Not a dupe, is it? <laughs> Have Alice in Wonderland and then a dupe of it. No. Uh, painting the Roses Red. And that is one big red rose there. And that is wax, I believe. Yes, it feels like wax. I can get some rose, and I am not a rose fan. Whew, I just got glitter up my nose. <laughs> oh, I hope it comes out. I just breathed it in. Um, but it's way more than just rose. Because if it was just a rose scent, I would not have purchased it. Okay, Knave of Hearts. Oh, look at that big heart. I think that's wax too. Yes, it feels like wax. If the wax in these um, designs feel harder than this wax. They're probably not, but they just feel that way. I don't know. This is unusual. Oh, strawberry. It's almost like strawberry and something burnt. I know that sounds like a terrible description, but it's actually pleasant. Um, this one is called Drink Me. And it's got flowers and baubles. And it must be cherry or something. Not wild about it, but I don't hate it either. I think it's cherry. It could be some strawberry and cherry. Uh, next one is Eat Me. Yeah, if you have Drink Me, I guess you need Eat Me. Look at this thing. Dark. Oh, I can smell it already. Yeah, because it's... Ooh. I think it's chocolate and coffee. Or creme brulee or something. I don't know. It smells pretty good. It's kind of fall-like. Um... But there will be, you know, summer nights that where it's raining or, you know, the temperature drops and they'll be perfect. Uh, six Impossible Things. It's another brown one. And it has that same little, well, I can smell it from here. It's another, another stronger bakery type. Yeah, this has got coffee for sure. I don't know what else. It doesn't really smell like chocolate. This one had the hint of chocolate. This one didn't. But it definitely smells like coffee. Okay, this is called Cheshire Cat. Do we have one of these already? Okay. Um, hmm. I'm not going to tell you what I think it smells like. <laughs> but it might have some rose and stuff in it. It's very pretty. But it does remind me of something that I'm not going to share. Um, this one is All the Best People Are... Bonkers? Is that what it is? All of those people are bonkers? It's green and it's got like some dried roses. Hmm, I don't know what it smells like. Maybe a little mint, a little grapefruit. I don't know. It's unusual and it's very um, light so it's it's not overpowering at all. This one is called Marzipan Poppy Cakes. That one's stronger. I, I can smell it from here. <laughs> okay, I'm guessing cherry and almond or something. It's got a little dried something there. A couple little pearls. And then finally, oh, another pistachio almond pudding, which we had already. Ooh, this one smells even sweeter, although I'm sure they're the same. It's just I've been sniffing a lot of these. Okay, so that's the end of the wax. So let's get into some of the body things. All right, so this is Tea Party with Alice Sugar Scrub sample. Okay, so this is a sample she sent me. And I thought I had two. Oh, yeah, there's the other one. All right, so this one is kind of pink and blue. Pink and blue. Uh, let's see. Do these open right? Oh, yeah. Okay. This reminds me, it's called Tea Party with Alice. Okay, I think we had one of those. Okay, that's why it smelled familiar. Tea Party with Alice. It's, um, I don't know how to describe it. Uh, I guess it would fall into um, clean and floral. And this one, got another one, is called Purple, a real light purple, like lilac, lavender, whatever. It's almost tea time. And this is sugar scrub. This one said sugar scrub sample. This one just says sugar scrub. But I think it was probably a sample she sent. Hmm. 
Okay, even though this is floral, I like it. It's just purple. I actually like it better than the other one so far. <laughs> All right, so now these I can't aren't going to be easy to open because she has a cellophane. That hard cellophane, yeah. Uh, lavender vanilla custard. So I can't really share with you what I think about the scent of it or how it looks. This one is Sh Cheshire Cat. Now I had that in another, in one of the can, in some of the wax. But you got to see the top of this if you can. Yeah, it's pretty fancy dancy. Uh, oops, don't fall over. This is called Alice in Lavender Land, which I had in the wax too. And then this last one is a gray, and it's called Chasing Time. I think, if I recall correctly, this was the one I was really most interested in. Because, um, yeah. My sugar scrub that I got from her before is almost gone, so this timing is perfect. Wow, what an assortment of wax and sugar scrubs and all from the bathing garden. Uh, she is from Haley, Idaho. I think that's how it's, I think that's what it is, ID, Idaho. So you can see, whoa, I have a whole page full of items here, and then more on the back. My total order was $156.95. I went crazy. And then with um, shipping and handling at 18, it was $174.95. So that is my bathing garden order. A huge amount of wax <laughs> and actually a lot of body scrubs. I've never bought this many at one time, but I'm thinking of making some little Easter baskets, to be honest. So it's not all for me. But thanks so much for watching my channel. I hope you give me a thumbs up and subscribe.